A, you're off. It's your girl, the internet ho. And for today's video mall girls, I know, I know, it's been a while since we didn't have a haul. Because no may medyo busy ako at also at the same time, medyo na walang tao ko na mga makeup, skincare, body care, fragrance. I'm still collecting. We might have like a dedicated video just for fragrance. Pero this one talaga I really collected from May and also I've been traveling with them. So you know it's gonna be good, like good, good. And also mga girls in this haul, I also included some books. Because this year I've been in the habit of reading books and then at dami siyong nako comment on what books I. Read. Read. And I'm normally self-help, non-fiction type of girly. Like, parang I like learning stuff in life. So if that's your vibe, oh my god, we are in the same boat, you know? The theme for this haul is more on healing. Because I'm a healed bitch. Like, fuck breakup. Fuck my ex, honestly. And yeah, I've just moved on and I'm hotter. All the things that broke me last year. Made me a bad bitch that I am. Like a super much a kept bitch, okay? And of course, well, girls, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified. And lastly, my curls, I've been leaving all my social media links over here. So without further ado, my curls, let's get started! Alright, now, Chris, for in this haul, I have makeup, skincare, body care, hair care, and some self help books that I would recommend. And alam yung magiging proud kay sa akin kasi when it comes to makeup, we actually have a lot and some good ones. Alright, so ayoko na patagalin pa kasi I don't want this video to be so long. I wanna start off first with makeup. This is Makeup by Mario. This is their Surreal Skin Foundation. I have the shade 120. Chaka meron ako shade 13W. I bought two kasi. Initially, I bought this one. This is 13W. This is too dark for me. Pero ngayon, I'm darker kasi I went to El Nido, so I got a Hand. Like as you can see, I got darker babes. So this is my shade right now. Hinahalo ko silang dalawa. But my normal shade is 12O, 12 olive. So hinahalo ko silang dalawa just so I can get my perfect match. And oh my gosh, this foundation yung kay Mario lasts so long. Tapos hindi ka mukha naka makeup. I swear. Pag ko to and then I'm telling people like, oh yeah, I have my makeup done. And then they're like, you're wearing makeup. And I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing makeup. Ganun siya. Mukha talaga siyang skin. So if you're looking for a foundation that's like medium coverage, just like skin and lasts long, get this. Actually, in my opinion, between NARS versus this. Go for this one. Super undetectable talaga. Alright, so those are for the base. I have a lot of blushes recommendation dito. I've been enjoying Choo Choo Beauty's blushes. Alam nyo, when I was traveling to El Nido at saka Boracay, this is Choo Choo Beauty Pretty Betty. Oh my god, if you're looking for the perfect peachy blush. I actually have a dedicated review neto. If you guys are interested, I'll link it down below. Sobrang ganda ng shade neto. It lasts so long. I also like the shade Miss Dolly. So if you're looking for a good pink, ito siya. I like these two shades the best. They last so long. They blend so well. Plus, hindi siya mukhang dry sa skin. Like when you use powder blushes, parang nagiging cracky siya sa skin. Hindi. That's why I really love this talaga. Alright, the next blush I have here, this is Lucky Beauty. This is in the shade Muse. I love this blush. Alam nyo, I really like Lucky Beauty's blush kasi kahit cream blush siya, sobrang long lasting niya. And the shade though, babes. Sobrang ganda na ito. It's like the perfect mauve pink. Wala to sa PR kit ko eh. So I bought this and I really enjoyed this. Ito rin dala ko sa Boracay. I've been using cream blushes and then powder blushes lang. Last blush recommendation I have here. This is brand new. This is from Happy Skin. This is their Second Skin Serum Cushion Blush. This is in the shade Days. This is my favorite shade. Like, oh my god. If you're looking for like a liquid cream blush that if you put it on your skin, wala makeup or with makeup, it looks like it's underneath your skin. This is the perfect blush for you this shade days look at that it's in a cushion that's what it looks like and then we're just gonna put it on the skin and shot it just gives you this soft radiant pinky blush you don't see it here very impressive you put it on your skin to face natural like parang, oh you're glowing what's new like something changed about you parang ganon. it's just like naturally blushing ganon. that's why I love this one and shot Alright, mga girls. So moving on to the next product. I love you lately. I've been bronzing. Hindi ako masadong ako pa pictures sa Boracay kasi. Wala ako dalang bronzer, wala ako dalang contour. All I just did was foundation, concealer, just powder lang. And then nagpa picture na kami with flash photography sa bar. Oh my god, my face looks so fucking flat. So ayun, I'm back to bronzing ulit. So I got here, this is Get Ready With Me's Shady Sunstick. This is in the shade El Nido, which is my favorite shade. Now I've been bronzing. Sobrang, this is the best bronzer ever. Like if you're looking for a bronzer na perfect for most skin tones, like if you're light skin or tan, sobrang ganda na shade na to. So get this El Nido. Because it lasts so long. And ang daling yung i-blend. So moving on naman mga curls to brow products. Alam nyo, bitch, I'm bringing this back. Again, get ready with me brow lift. This brow lift. 
I know a dami reviews out there. It lasts so fucking long. Nung island hopping kami, nag travel kami. I don't know, nag dive ako sa tubig. Girl, my bra stayed on. That's all you need to know, girl. To the point, bumili pa ako ng extra kasi alam ko baka ma sold out to eh. So yun, this bra lift, so good. Next naman mga curls for everyday use. Like, I don't want my brows to be super, like, parang matigas. It's just like running errands. And I just want my brows to be polished. Ito yung gamit ko naman. This is Easy Co's Clear Brow Fixing Gel. Compared to brow lift, depending on your look that you're going for, if you want like a more natural look na parang hold yung brows mo that's long lasting, go for this. But if you want like intense, solid yung brows like you don't want it to move even on extreme activities, go for this. But this is like a natural girly. This is an extreme girly. Alright, Malker. So moving on to the eyes. I'm so happy for this release. This is Vice Cosmetics Snapstick on the Daily. Hindi naman siya pencil eyeshadow. There's like cream eyeshadows but it's on a stick. Ganito siya. This is in the shade Rosewood. It's like a matte brown. They have shimmer shades and matte shades. Ako personally, Personally, ang gamit ko lang sa kanila is the matte shades. Kasi kilala nyo naman ako, this is caramel, this is rosewood. Alam nyo, I really enjoy this product kasi kilala nyo ako, sobrang tamad ko mag eyeshadow. Like, I don't wanna get a brush and then fucking blend that shit. You know what I do with this? I'm actually gonna demo mga curls. I just take rosewood, it's like that, and then it fits right in your socket. I just put it on the crease like that. You can see it there. Then I take my finger and I blend it. And alam nyo, this does not budge, I swear. Even if you go swimming, even if you like wipe this shit with makeup remover. I don't know what they put in this stuff. It does not budge. I just put it on the crease and then I blend it. Just a tint of color and I'm good. Kilala niyo ako. Gusto ko lang ganyan lang. When it comes to shimmer, they have like metallic finishes which I'm not into. Mas gusto ko yung parang doyin makeup. Yung parang wet lang. Hindi siya ganun eh. So more a metallic sila. I just stick with this one. It's like matte. It's not powdery. And they don't crease. I noticed kasi when you do eyeshadows with powder and then meron kang blended look. Throughout the day, nagiging oily lids mo. They just look muddy. I really like this kasi hindi siya nagiging ganon. It just stays matte and it just stays there. Next naman mga curls still with Vice Cosmetics. They have new eyeliners. This is their lasting liner on the daily. I like the shade Coco. Nilalagay ko siya dito. Ayan. Coco and In The Nude. Si In The Nude dito ko siya nilalagay. So it like opens my eyes. It makes my eyes more almond shaped. Tapos this shit does not also move, girl. Like I have no idea how they do it. It does not move. It looks so good. I don't like the white one. Ang gamit ko nude eh. If you're like Morena and you don't like white, kasi white medyo detectable. It makes your eyes like super obvious na naka-eyeliner ka na white. Go for nude. Sobrang ganda na ito. And then if you want like a soft, like defined eye look, go for Coco. They also have like a darker brown espresso, pero mas prefer ko si Coco. So this is in the shade Coco and then this is in the shade in the nude. All right, Malka. So moving on to the lips, we got a couple of options here. Alam nyo, sobrang perfect timing. I've been looking for lip liners, and then nag-order ako ng mga lip liners. Yung parang ano lang mga focal you're getting. Parang almost like China brands, yung mga mura lang, but they suck. Buti na lang, this came out. This is from Chuchu Beauty. Bago lang to eh. These are their lip liners. I like three shades. Remember when I said the eyeshadow doesn't budge? I'm trying to take it off. Yeah, babes, it does not come off. I have no idea how I'm gonna get that off. Okay, even this one, did I know? Does not come off. All right, so I have three lip liners here. Na gusto ko sa kanila. This is in the shade Teddy Brown. So it's like literally brown. This is perfect if you want that like brown lip liner with a nude in the center with a gloss. Then we have here, this is Bake Nude. If you want like a softer brown. I also like if you want pink Haze Mauve. Okay to. This is Haze Mauve. These are the three shades I like. Then sa lip liners. Alright mga curls, so moving on to the lips, I have to bring this back. I'm not sure if I talked about this uh, hauls ko, but I really love Bare and Bliss's Cherry Makes Cheerful Lip Velvet Bare and Bliss. That's a fucking mouthful. I like the shade 01. Medyo gamit na gamit to. Yan, 01. I like also the shade 10. Ito. These are the shades I like. Actually, yung lipstick ko na nag-travel kami sa El Nido, ito yung gamit ko. This is Bare and Bliss yung Velvet Lipstick. Sober long lasting niya. It blurs your lips. Tapos, you don't even need to retouch. Promise. Like, it lasts so long. And alam mo yung sa ibang Velvet Lipstick, napansin ko, parang namumuti yung dito mo. Yung inner rims ng lips mo. Parang it gets white. I hate that. Pero I noticed kay Bare and Bliss, hindi talaga siya. It looks so natural. That's why I really like Bare and Bliss lipsticks. Then I have to bring this back. Bitch, this is Izzy & Co's True Matte Lip Bullet. Y'all, don't sleep on these lipsticks. I actually have a full review of this. If you guys are interested, I'll link it below. I like the shades. This is Opus and this is Fresco. Alam nyo, even if it's a lipstick bullet, sobrang long lasting niya. Yung nagamit ko ngayon sa gym eh. Like, every time I drink water, I work out like 3 hours. It's still on my lips. May kulay pa siya. Tapos hindi siya nagka-crack. Hindi siya namumuo. Hindi rin siya pumuputi sa gitna yung lipstick. It just stays there. 
That's why if you're looking for a lipstick na, I'm pretty sure sa six six magiging ninety nine pesos ata to if I'm not mistaken. Girl, I hoard you na to. It's so fucking good. Then I have something for my lip gloss girlies. If you're looking for a really good lip oil, I love this one. This is Strokes Beauty. This is in the shade My Lips But Better. Girl, when they send My Lips But Better, they mean it. It's in shade yo. Oh my god, look at that. I always bring this sa bag ko kasi usually I get dry lips. So I put this on. Like it said, my lips but better. Tapos ang gusto ko dito sa lip oil ng Strokes, hindi siya mainit sa labi. Kasi usually, I notice, pag naglalagay ako lip oil from other brands, syempre it's humid, mainit. Parang umiinit yung lips ko. Ako lang ba? Comment down below if you can relate. Pagdating sa Strokes, sobrang gaan niya. It's very comfortable sa lips. Tapos hindi siya mainit sa lips. Alright mga girl, so moving on to the last products ng makeup, I got setting sprays. And medyo, your mind is gonna be blown here. I don't know if I'm late to this or alam nyo. The first one I have here, obviously, this is Charlotte Tilbury's Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This one, tried and true, sobrang ganda na ito. Like, it makes my makeup last long. Medyo mahal nga siya, pero it's worth the price. If I feel fancy, ginagamit ko to, pero there's one setting spray lately I've been using talaga kasi puking ina, sobrang long-lasting na makeup ko. And it's only for 200 pesos! Bitch! This is Dazzle Me Get a Grip na setting spray. I bought this actually sa mall when we were shopping sa SM Makati. Nakita ko lang to. Ito ko to sa TikTok, parang tinestin. It's mask proof, so long lasting yung makeup. Tas yung iba nag sa swatch ng eyeshadow, tas pinas spray to, tas hindi gumagalaw daw yung eyeshadow. And I was like, bullshit, let's give this a try. Yo, what the fuck? Can I just say, between Charlotte Tilbury at Dazzle Me, talo pa ni Dazzle Me yung Charlotte Tilbury. Like, bitch, ito, this holds my makeup. Pero throughout the day, napapansin ko, my T zone dito, it gets oily. One time, nag film ako, tas ito yung gamit ko, Dazzle Me. And then I noticed, hindi nag shine yung dito ko, tas my makeup stayed on. And I was like, yo, this shit, if if you want your makeup to last long, this is so good. Kahit like island hopping kami, nag-dive ako sa tubig. I'm not kidding. My foundation stayed on. Yeah, I was wearing foundation in our trip. I know. I was sweating. I was under the heat of the sun. My makeup still stayed on. This is so good. Alam nyo, ang reklamo ko lang dito. The packaging, no, is not giving. The color of the packaging reminds me of a booger. Pero I swear, if you want your makeup to last long, tas mura lang yung setting spray, get luck nyo to. Promise. I have no idea anong ginawa ng Dazzle Me dito, but it will stay on talaga. Parang sobrang fresh na makeup ko. I even remember when I was like in El Nido, the only time I retouch was like two times lang. Hindi ako masyado pala retouch. Eh, pala retouch ako kasi sobrang oily ko eh. But this... Get this setting spray. It's the best. Out of all setting spray I've tried, get ready with me. ZZ, Charlotte Tilbury. Ano yung isang brand? So yun, yung parang British brand ba yun? Bart, something like that? This is the best one. Alright, mga girls, so that's for makeup. Let's move on to skincare. Pagdating sa skincare, I don't have a lot kasi I just stick to what I have right now kasi I haven't been shopping with skincare. I've been focused more on body care. Body tsaka hair care lately. Pagdating sa skincare, I'm good. These are like top talaga I would recommend. First one, this is the Numbuzzin Skin Soft Serum. I have a full review of this. So good. I've been using this one lately. Even their number three toner. I really love this. Actually, most of my skincare is nambazin. And also good molecules. I actually talked about this like years ago. This is one of my favorite exfoliating powders. This is good molecules pineapple exfoliating powder. Like you malas sa palm mo on ting too big. Tasi you just massage your face, wash it off, bitch. I'm telling you, your skin is gonna be so smooth. Then also, I like pairing it with this one. This is the good molecules discoloration correcting serum. If you're looking for something na parang papa-remove ng dark spots, I noticed when I use this, my tan sa El Nido, medyo nawawala yung tan ko. So I was like, wow, it really works talaga. So this one, if you're looking for something to get rid of dark spots, get this. Tried and true. I love this one talaga. Next one, mga curls, I have more on under eyes and dark circles. This is the Good Molecules Caffeine Energizing Hydrogel Eye Patches. You have no idea how many times this shit saved my life. Kasi I had so many events lately or mga ganaps na medyo big Biglaan pa, tas ang aga, so yung tulog ko, medyo kulang. Cause I have to wake up early, it just so happened I slept late. This one, I just put it on my under eyes. Instantly, my under eyes is less puffy, refreshed. If I put makeup on top, it doesn't look like medyo nagpuyat ako. So I really enjoy this, but for the most part, I make sure I sleep 8 hours, bitch. The next time I'm curls, pagdating sa under eye, my favorite retinol under eye cream is Inkyless Retinol. Yun yung gamit ko, as you know. I switched to this one. This is Lux Organics Retinol and Bakuchiol. Okay din siya, if you're looking for an under eye retinol, Retinol cream at least like once a week or twice a week. This is really good. It has retinol and bakuchiol, which is almost just like retinol then in a plant form. Meron din peptides and ceramides. So it's really good for my under eyes. And also what I like about this compared kay Inky List is meron na siyang ganito. So I can just do it like that as opposed to put it in my fingers and then I'll dab it. If I'll just like put it like that and then just dab it, I'm good. It's like less messy. So I prefer this one over the 
kinky list. The next one mouth curls, if you're breaking out, this is a super affordable pimple mud. This is Lux Organics Acne Solution Mud Powder. This is like 79 pesos, 75 pesos. I use this mainly on my back knee. When you're in pimples on my back, I just use this one. All right, mouth curls. So moving on to the next product, we have here sunscreen. Late the ang gamit kong sunscreen. This is from Pons. This is their UV Hydrate Sunscreen. Alam nyo, between the bright and the hydrate, mas bet ko to, mas rich siya, and mas moisturizing siya. It doesn't feel like kind of dry. I prefer this one over the bright one. All right, Malka, so moving on to the next product, we have body care and hair care. I want to start off first with the hair care. Remember this shampoo? Yeah, babes, it's still alive. I bought this no March. Ano na kayo, May? I still have it. Actually, June na ngayon eh. Three months, ito lang yung bawas niya. So, super tipid siya, girl. I just realized, kahit mahal siya, sobrang tipid niya kasi matagal siya maubos, oh. Plus, it smells so good. So, this is like a perfume grade shampoo. In case you're new to this channel or if you've seen it already, alam niyo naman yung kwento na ito. It's a perfume grade shampoo. So, if you sweat, yung amoy ng sweat mo on your scalp, if you're under the heat of the sun, will smell like the shampoo. I was so bored kasi bumuli ako ng maraming variants. I bought also this one. This is the Damask Rose Shampoo version. Girl, sobrang bone ito. It smells so clean and like so girly and fresh and like roses. I really enjoyed this one. I started using this around like third week of May, if I'm not mistaken. And ito lang yung bawas niya. See? Sobrang tipid niya. Then second naman mga curls, I also bought their other variant. This is their Remover Shampoo. This has peppermint extract. Binili ko to kasi it has a minty feel. And yeah, it does feel very cool in the scalp. Plus it feels so fresh and it doesn't strip off my hair color. Kasi my problem is if I buy usually mga cooling shampoos, parang scalp care, they tend to strip off my hair color. Pero ito, this is hair color safe and it feels so cool. Sobrang lamig na ito sa scalp. Ang sarap. Parang na sa spa girl. Like, trust me, I really love this one. Then also, I went back to using, remember dati may narecommend ako parang serum sa scalp na ito. They also have like a spray version. This is like their Root Booster Tonic. And yeah, same effect with the serum, pero in a spray form. Yung lalamig yung scalp mo and it's good for your scalp. And you know what I also use this for? Ginagamit ko siyang ano, pang cool sa katawan. Remember the cooling spray na like viral last year? Yeah, you can use this on your body. Like, if it can cool down your scalp, it can cool down your body, babes. Two-in-one product, why not some bongo pa. It smells like fresh apples, so I really like this. All right, mga girls, so moving on to the next products. You all know I love hair perfume. I love my hair smelling good. I've been enjoying the scent of vanilla. Kasi every time suot ko siya, I get compliments. Tapos lagi ako panagigigilan. I saw this. This is from July Me, the same brand that I use in perfume shampoo. So how you use this while your hair is wet, ilagay mo muna sa hair mo, blow dry mo, your hair will smell like that. This is in their variant. Vanilla proposed and girl, sobrang smells like yummy vanilla. Kahit sa init, I'm so opposed to gourmand scents kasi pag mainitan, it smells like shit. But girl, this smells so good. Ginamit ko to sa El Nido. Every time I go on dates, I always have this. Like, tinan nyo, piga na nga siya eh. Cause I love this. So, sobrang tatagal to sa'yo kasi all you need is just a pea-sized amount. Rub it in your palms. Put it on your hair. Dry it. Girl, you'll smell like vanilla. So good. The next product I have here, this is from Manic Beauty. This is their Cosmist Love Hair Mist. This also smells like vanilla. It's so good. Kaya I keep layering vanilla on vanilla kasi sobrang bango. This one smells so good. Bango talaga. What I like about this, kung may tuchang ka, tas i-brush mo lang siya, sobrang bango, tas it just stays in your hair. Like, oh my God. Alam niya, may chika ako dito. One time I was in the gym, hindi ako naligo eh. Nag-half-bat lang ako. Tapos, partidahan, naka-ponytail ako. Nag-dry shampoo ako, tas I just spritz in my hair. Hindi ako nag-perfect kasi medyo nagmamadali ako nun eh kasi I have a busy day after gym. So sabi ko, okay, ito na lang, okay, fuck that shit. When I was in the locker room, may lumapit sa akin na girl, dumaan lang siya, tas parang kuminto siya. Tas nung bumalik siya, sabi niya, you smell so good. What's your perfume? Deep inside, sabi ko, wala na akong perfume. Pero sabi ko, yeah, it's a hair mist from Shopee. Hindi ko sinabi yung brand kasi hahabi usapan. I'm like, yeah, leave me the fuck alone. This is the hair mist I used. Tapos, I got a compliment and I was not even wearing perfume. So sabi ko, what the fuck? This is so good. So, alam nyo, if you have long hair or kung pawisin kayo or nagsisweat yung scalp nyo, highly recommend this. It smells so good talaga. Alright, Malka. So, moving on to the next hair product. If you're the type of person kung medyo matuchang ka or if you wear ponytail, this one, alam nyo, sobrang perfect timing nito dumating kasi right when I was about to fly to Boracay, this came and I had to wear a ponytail. Like a low ponytail lang naman ako. This is so good. Kasi ito may chika ako ha. I'm so sorry for the people who loves Boracay ha. Like for me ha, I'm an El Nido girly. Kasi first time ko na mag Boracay. That's my first time nung dinala kami ni Pons. No one told me, pag baba mo sa airport, pupunta ka dito, pupunta ka doon, magpe-ferry ka, pupunta ka doon. Girl! Nakastress mo! 
ayun nga sa ferry, may hangin. Pagbaba sa airplane, may hangin. So, alam mo yung magiging buwag ka yung hair mo talaga. Nakakaloka. This has been so helpful kasi ako, naka-low ponytail ako. I have the chunks. Mataas talaga yan pag nahanginan. So, buti na lang talaga dinala ko to at ginamit ko to kasi I did not expect na ang dami mong pagdadaanan bago ka makarating sa Boracay Beach. As inagulat talaga ako, sabi ko, damn, that's a lot of work to get to that beach, man. Kasi sanay ako sa El Nido eh. Pinala ko methods yun eh. Pag Puerto Princesa, magbabahan ka for 6 hours, which fuck no, not me. Ang ginawa namin, diretso yung airplane sa El Nido. Pagdating mo sa El Nido, susunduin ka lang and then hotel. No fucking ferry, no drive. So I was like, wow, that's much better. Wala, share ko lang. I'm sorry. Why is Boracay so hype? I feel like there are some people who agree. Alright, Marco, so next product I would recommend... This has been my lifesaver. And alam nyo, Bremont, if you're watching, at this point, kailangan nyo na sponsoran si Kat. Okay? Kasi ang dami yung product na Bremont na binudol niya sa akin. This is Bremont's Performance Intensive Hydrolyzed Wheat Protein Treatment. Marami silang variants, pero get the one that says Color Treated Hair. Kasi alam nyo, natry ko yung isa, yung blue. Hindi siya ganun kaganda. So I was like, ito pa din. Get specifically for the color treated hair. Even if your hair is not color treated, get this one. Girl, I'm telling you, sobrang lambot ng hair mo. Nung nag-El Nido kami, syempre salt water, I have bleached hair. This saved my hair. I can't even believe it's only 150 pesos. If you put this on your hair, ibabag mo siya ng 2 minutes, ibanlo mo. I don't know what kind of witchcraft is in this shit. It makes your hair so smooth. Parang bagong Brazilian blowout, parang bagong rebound. Ang ganda, like, ang lambot. Kasi nakita ni Kat yun sa TikTok eh. Tapos parang nag-electric fan lang siya sa hair niya. So sobrang smooth. Tapos sabi ko, ulul. Tapos trinayin namin, yeah bitch, they were not lying. Tinan niya yung bawas niya. Like, sobrang bawas niya talaga. Kasi I use this almost every wash hair day, I use this. Smells so good. Tapos alam niyo yung tipong, even if you wash your hair, the smell still lingers in your hair. It smells so good. Trust me, if you want so smooth hair na sobrang affordable, get this. Brimo doesn't miss. Alright, mga curls. So, moving on to body care. If you're pawisin, mga curls, I swear. This one, Fresh Formula Sergeant at Arms. This is the best deal spray. Binili ko to eh. When I first got it, medyo nag- eh, nag-hesitate ako kasi sanay ako usually sa stick, sanay ako sa roll-on. So, sabi ko, kaya ba niya i-control yung sweat ko kung spray? Yeah, bitch. The same way how sweat block makes my underarms and my body dry, this will keep you dry. The way I use this nga, ano eh, I spray this sa batok and then sa kilikili and then some parts that I feel like get sweaty. Which is even better na spray siya eh, no? Hindi mo lang siya pwede gamitin sa kilikili. And you know what? May story time ako neto. Nung galing kami Boracay, kasi hindi ako ng makeup, nung baby powder lang ako, tsaka red lipstick, nag-spray ako neto sa mukha. I put this on my face, babes! Tapos kulat ako, naka-sergeant at arms ako sa mukha. Eh, kasama ako si Kai Javier. Sabi niya, di ba pag kilikili yun? Tapos sabi ko, yeah, try natin. Mali mo, pwede siyang ano sa face. Yeah, bitch. Hindi ako na haggard, girl. Hindi ako masyadang pinawisan sa mukha, girl. Sorry. So, ayun, I highly recommend this. And alam niyo, tipid siya. Kasi I bought this no around April, no Holy Week. Eh, ano na ngayon? First week of June. Paubos na siya. So, if you guys have the chance to get this, alam niyo, hoard niyo na. Kasi lagi siya na sold out. And it's always sold out for a reason. I get it. It's so fucking good. So, get this one. I really like this one. Alright, mga girl. So, moving on to body care. I've been obsessed with body wash lately. And I got this one. This is Bare and Bliss into Glow. Pero alam nyo, for me ha, mas prefer ko yung green. Kasi yung green yung pampasmooth ng skin eh. Meron siyang AHA, BHA, and PHA. Ito, ano lang ito yung pampabrighten. This one has vitamin C, niacinamide. So parang pampaglow lang siya. It smells good. The reason why nilabas ko lang siya, I would just say, it's like okay. Pero if you want the good one, the green one is the best one. Tapos alam nyo, nakailang Watsons ako. We were outside. So nag-shopping kami. So I was like, you know what? Punta ako Bare and Bliss kasi bibili ako ng green. Laging sold out sis. Y'all, what the fuck? It's Y'all's fault that that shit went sold out, okay? Because I recommended that shit. Ironically, hindi nga siya whitening yung green eh, pero sold out pa siya. Y'all, the curls? Y'all are next fucking level, bitch. So, ito yung whitening nila, pero yung amoy neto medyo... Mm, sucks lang. Okay naman siya sa balat. Malambot yung balat ko. Pero my skin feels softer sa green one. So get the green one. Then moving on to the next body wash. If you want your skin to be so smooth. Tapos if you're suffering from keratosis pilaris or yung mga bumpy skin. Oh my god. Get this body wash. Medyo mahal siya. Pero it's freaking worth it. And you don't even need to use this every day. Mga twice a week lang. Sakto na eh. So medyo makakatipit ka naman. This is Naturium the Smoother Glycolic Acid Body Wash. Nakita ko lang to sa TikTok. Because everyone is debating which is the best Naturium wash. And I saw a TikTok na sobrang like, smooth yung skin niya. And you know me, I'm like, you know what? Bullshit! Then I tried it. Alam nyo, ang ayoko lang dito, amoy gamot. Basta wala siya smell eh. Yung fragrance free. Pero amoy, basta it smells like medicine. Something like that. But bitch, your skin, I'm telling you, yung balat ko sa El Nido, di ba ang dami nagko-comment? Ang keenness, bitch. Twice a week. Tapos I use the green one ng Bare and Bliss. And then Sulfur Soap. 
bitch! Then usually yung lotion ko sa gabi, I change it from time to time. I use this Glutahaya Flawless Bright, yung retinol one or the overnight one, the blue one. I just switch it from time to time. Bitch, my skin is so fucking soft. If you touch me right now, I swear, the best. Alright, Maka, so moving on to the last products here, I have here some self-help books that I really, really recommend talaga. Alam nyo, here's the thing what I learned about my healing journey so far and feeling great about myself is when I was sad and yun nga, when I was depressed, when I was going through it through a heartbreak is no matter how much you have or achieve in front of you if you don't have the mindset of abundance and you know positive vibes everything doesn't matter so I had to have that mindset shift books really help I watch self-help content and I read books because for me when I read books these are people who went to school for it these are people who had I don't know like 50 years of experience or 10 years of experience so habang bata ka pa, if you're young or if you're my age I'm 26 you can get knowledge from these people they're older than me they live through more lives than me that's their profession I'm a huge believer on books I swear books can literally change your life like you have no idea na parang your mindset is just right there you don't even need to spend a lot when you have a different mindset on things things become more mas magaan sa feeling and if you understand things in different perspective from different kind of people your ideas you get a notion of how to react or how to feel or how to process that emotion it's a long story Sorry, babes. Yeah, that's my healing process. Okay, first book I would recommend. This is like your therapist in a book. This is called Why Has Nobody Told Me This Before? I love this book so much. This validated me that when it comes to procrastinating and also time management, do you procrastinate because you're not wasting time or you're not having poor time management? It's mood management. Sometimes you just don't have the energy or the mood to do something. They talked about it here. Eh? So I was like, wow, this is a modern day therapist book that everyone needs to read. I swear, if you want something to validate you and then teach you ways how to improve it, give you tips on how to overcome it, get this book. Why has nobody told me this before? Very validating, very healing. Grateful for this book. I've been reading this in March. Second naman mga curls, if you're a bitch, you will fucking love this. This is called Toxic Positivity. Keeping the real in a world obsessed with being happy. Oh my God. Don't you have those times now whenever you're faced with toxic positivity tas magre-real talk ka and then you come off as a bitch that's me and then you feel guilty for it and then they gaslight you to feel bad about yourself in fact you're just being honest this is the book for you this will validate you na parang, you know what I was right y'all are just being toxic positivity and y'all need to shut the fuck up so yun I really love this book then my mom cross one of the book I recommended is why men love bitches this one's the next level this is called why men marry bitches like yeah I swear, you're gonna get a high value man. You're gonna live the best life. But for me, in my personal opinion, ako ha, between why men love bitches versus this, mas gusto ko pa rin yung why men love bitches. Yun talaga, core talaga, if you just met a person like solid advice. And usually, mga books na recommend ko are very easy read kasi I don't like books na masyadong maraming paragraph and it's annoying. I don't like that. This one, I love this. This is called 1,000 Little Things Happy Successful People Do Differently. Literally, they give you chapters, tapos ano, they give you literally a list of things to do the mention chapters like in terms of relationship career emotion stuff like that I really love it then I have two books here with the same author I think it's a Korean author so ganda ng visual niya I like this one this is called I decided to live as me I really love the visuals of this we know it on Instagram which I'll put a screenshot here this one if you're navigating through life and also if at the same time you're a people pleaser me I was a fucking people pleaser this is definitely meant for you. Then also this one, same author din siya. Maganda yung mga visuals nila. May mga cartoons nila, which is kind of cute. This is being comfortable without effort. If you're always in survival mode and you always have to hustle, do shit, get this book. It gives you a moment to pause, chill the fuck out, and realize that life is worth living. Meron din ako isang book na I would recommend. Same author din. Binili ko siya. Called, I'm Not Lazy, I'm Energy Saving. If you're a young adult, you need that book. It just shows you reality of life. Alam niyo, may story time ako dun sa book niya na wala ko siya sa grab. Why? Because I was on a date. Yeah, I'll just put a video here. I was on a date with this guy. Actually, I think card din suot ko. And then I bought the book because it's color blue. So I was like, oh, it's part of the outfit. I look like a nerdy girl. I'm a mysterious main character girly. Ayan, saka ka main character. Tapos nagsakay kami na grab. Naglalaplapan kami, nagharutan kami sa grab. Pagdating sa bahay ko, naiwan ko yung book. Lande! Comment down below if you guys like story times of my dates. Sounds interesting. I don't know. If you guys want to know my personal life more, I don't know. Then last book, Mockers, I would recommend. This is called Adult Children of Emotion immature parents, how to heal from distant, rejecting, and self-involved
involved parents oh my god this book made me realize everything that you are right now like your core personality as an adult stems from childhood so I dami ko na realize sa book na to. I grew up in a toxic household I'm not blaming my parents I'm thankful pero yun lang yung knowledge na meron sila you know what I mean they tried their best which everyone is trying their best in life this one it will just give you the idea of what you've been through and how you can correct it and how you can live differently and break the pattern that you were imposed on how to live you know what I mean so yun I recommend this book if you feel like you have childhood trauma or if you feel like you grew up in a toxic household and now you're an adult and you're trying to heal and pick up the pieces in your life for yourself and your family or your kid girl I recommend this book like it's a must this kind of healed me I kind of closed that chapter in my life na and uh, major traumatic and then so much damning drama as a family ko I kind of closed that chapter and moved on so I'm at peace right now all right Marcos so that concludes this video of our haul and alam niyo Marcos I can't believe that it's like June na parang can you believe? I feel like yesterday was New Year, ng 2023. What? Sayang yung mga kas. bago yung self help book. Like, comment down below though if you guys are interested in a vlog maybe or TikTok ng self help book recommendations. Kasi, I love reading at this point. Hindi na ako masyadan sa stress sa social media. Must I read books now? I'm more present at the moment, if that makes any sense. So, for the most part, I just like trying things and sharing knowledge and sharing tips and tricks. Pero, do I indulge in entertainment and social? Social media like I don't know pranks no ni masyado or like comedy I don't know it's maybe part of growing up most of you guys knew me in the silver background I was like what 21 years old now I'm like 26 years old and I have different vibes now which personally I like my vibes now if that makes any sense if you guys like any self-help content self-development because I feel like you watch me throughout the years eh? my glow ups my breakups and stuff like that so I don't know if you guys would be interested in content na self-help or just like life in general you know and the things i got from books let me know and of course small curls i hope you found this video interesting and helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and of course small curls very important is to stay with she cap my mother how's it came bye guys